Hi everyone! Welcome back to my crochet doll journey for another crochet project series. For today's tutorial, I'm going to present another classic pinafore dress. And this is called Tulip Pinafore Dress. A pinafore in British English, or also known as jumper in American English, is a sleeveless garment worn as an apron, or maybe worn as a decorative garment and as a protective apron. This is suitable for 6 to 12 months. I highly recommend this dress for the pattern instructions are very simple and easy to make. What are you waiting for? Grab your hook and yarn and join us here. But before we start, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button below for more crochet updates. So, let's start! Before we proceed to the stitching, I'm going to show you the two patterns of our project today. This is the front of the dress, which has two straps. Okay. And then this is the back part of the dress, the skirt part. Alright. So let me show you like that. So this is the shape or design of our project today. It's so simple. Also, we're going to start our stitching at the bottom of the dress because usually from top to bottom. Let's start our work by making a slip knot. By the way, you can use your own method in making a slip knot. For today's project, I'm going to make for baby dress. So I'm going to create 33 chains. One, two, three, four, all the way up to 33 chains. I have created 33 chains. For round one, we are going to create one double crochet into every single stitch. However, we're going to start into the second stitch from the hook. Let me show you. This is your first chain from the hook, and this is your second chain from the hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the second chain, this one, and make one double crochet. Whoops. Now we have created one double crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch or chain and make another one double crochet. So keep repeating that one double crochet into every single stitch across the foundation chain. Before I forget, for bigger sizes, you can add more chains as long as your foundation chain is multiple of three, like 33, 36, 61, or any length that you wished for. I have completed round one and this is how it looks like and I have a total of 32 stitches. Remember, we skip one stitch. To begin round two, make chain one and turn your work. And for round two, we're going to create one double crochet into every single stitch. Insert your hook into the first stitch and make one double crochet. Alright, then insert your hook into the next stitch and create another one double crochet. Let's repeat again, one double crochet. So keep repeating that instruction all the way up to the last stitch of this round. I have completed round two and I still have a total of 32 stitches. To begin round three, make chain one and turn your work. For round three, we're going to repeat round two, one double crochet into every single stitch. All right, and then from round three up to the length that you wished for, or let's say for babies, I'm going to create 12 rounds of round two. One double crochet into every single stitch. Yarn over, go down into the first stitch and create one double crochet. Go down into the next stitch and create another one double crochet. So keep repeating that the same instruction and don't forget that every time you start your work, make chain one and turn your work. See you when you're done. I just finished my round 12 and this is how it looks like. And we are done with the skirt part. Next is the upper part of the dress. So as I have mentioned earlier that every time you start your work, you're going to make chain one 
and turn. Alright, let's start. Chain one and turn. And this chain doesn't count as stitch. So for round one of the upper part, we're going to decrease our work at the beginning and the end of the round. Two stitches together. Insert your hook into the first stitch. And then yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch like that and pull through all five loops slowly all right so this is how you decrease your work next is we're going to create one double crochet into every single stitch And leave two stitches at the last part of this round. I'm now at the end part of this round and I have two stitches left. Just like we did at the beginning of this round, we are going to decrease our work by making two double crochets together. Alright. Then yarn over, go down into the last stitch. Like that. There you have five loops on your hook, pull it through. That's how you decrease your work, all right? So we are done with our round one. To proceed round two, make chain one and turn, and this chain doesn't count as stitch. For round two, up to round six, we're go just going to repeat round one. Decrease our work by making two double crochets together at the beginning of the round and then double crochets in every single stitch and decrease at the last part of each round all right so let's start yarn over go down into the first stitch this one you have three loops on your hook yarn over go down to the next stitch you have five loops on your hook pull it through all right so that's how you decrease your work and then go down into the next stitch and create one double crochet go down into the next stitch and create another double crochet so keep repeating that and leave two stitches at the last part of this round I'm now at the end part of round 6 and I have 2 stitches left. Even you already know how to decrease, let me show you this part because we are going to change color for the next round. So yarn over, go down into the second to the last stitch. Like that, you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, go down into the last stitch. This one. All right, and then we have to stop, get your new yarn. Now we're going to, on the next round, we're going to create the leaves of the tulip flower. So we are going to use green yarn. Put the new yarn on your hook and pull it through. That's how you change the color. To proceed round seven, we are going to make chain one and turn your work and this chain doesn't count a stitch so for round seven we're going to create a V shape so let's start by making one double crochet into the first stitch like that okay and then skip one stitch this one and insert your hook into the next stitch and make one double crochet then chain one and yarn over go down into the same stitch and create another one double crochet all 
All right, so now we have formed the V shape. So let's repeat again, yarn over, skip one, and go down into the next stitch and make one double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, go down into the same stitch, this one, whoops, let's do it again. Yarn over, skip one, go down into the next stitch, and create one double crochet, chain one, go down into the same stitch, and there we have formed another V. Therefore, the pattern is one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, all in one stitch, then skip one. I just finished the V shapes, and this is how it looks like. You still have one stitch left. So end your work by making one double crochet, just like we did at the beginning of this round. By the way, on the next round, we are changing another color, alright? So stop here. If you have two loops on your hook or incomplete double crochet, put your new yarn on your hook, slip it. Okay, so that's how you change your color. So next is for round 8. Make chain one and turn. By the way, don't forget to cut the green yarn. All right, so let's start. Make chain one and turn. And this chain doesn't count the stitch. So for round eight, am I correct? I'm round eight. So let's start our work by making one double crochet as our post yarn over, go down into the first stitch. So this is our first stitch. This one and make one double crochet. Next is we're going to create three double crochets together working into chain space of your V shape. In making three double crochets together is just like double crochet but incomplete like that once you have two loops on your hook yarn over go down into the same chain space pull through first two loops now you have three loops on your hook yarn over go down into the same chain space pull the first two loops now you have four loops on your hook this time you can pull it through like that there you have created your first tulip flower. Next is chain one. Now let's fill all V shapes chain space by making three double crochets together. Let's do it again. Yarn over. Go down into the next chain space of your V shape and make three double crochets together. So this is your second. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, go down into the next chain space, pull through first two loops, now you have four loops on your hook. So once you have four loops on your hook, you can pull it through. There you have created another flower. Follow the same pattern up to the last stitch of your V-shape. I'm now at the end part of round eight and I have one stitch left. So same as we did at the beginning of this round, End your work by making one double crochet. Insert your hook into the last stitch. Oops. And make one double crochet. Since we are done with the leaves and flowers, let's go back to the base color, which is the red. By this time, you're already familiar in changing yarn color. All right? So make incomplete one double crochet at the last part of this round and slip it like that so let's go back now to red color so this time we are going to create one double crochet into every single stitch all right so don't forget to make chain one and turn so we're going to create three rounds of one double crochet all right 
As you can see here, there are three loops, three stitches in one flower. Alright, so insert your hook like that, but be careful. Alright, then here. Alright, then. Include the chain space. Here, the chain space. So keep repeating the same instruction. One double crochet into every single stitch. Alright, including the chain space. And do this for three rounds. See you when you're done. I just completed three rounds and this is how it looks like. You know, if you can only see this up close, it's just like a real tulip flowers. I love it so much. You can choose any color you like. There are yellow, red, pink, light green tulips, right? So you can choose your own yarn color. So next is our straps. In making straps, make chain one and turn and make your first double crochet. And we're going to create only two double crochets. Go down into the next stitch and create another one double crochet. Then make chain one and turn. Let's do it again. One double crochet. Go down into the next stitch or the last stitch. And create another one double crochet. Oops. All right. So keep repeating this instruction for 24 rounds and don't forget to make on the other side. All right. See you when you're done. I have completed the front dress and this is how it looks like. All right. So this is the two straps. For the straps, you can make a button holes if you like to put a buttons at the back or if you like we can sew it at the back part okay so now before we proceed we're going to create let me tell you that we are going to create the back part of the dress all right so from the bottom up to here before the decreasing part all right so if you like you can watch again my video and follow the same pattern. See you when you're done. I have completed the back part of the dress and this is how it looks like. It's just so simple. One double crochet for 32 stitches for each round. Okay? So now we are going to attach or join the skirt part, the back and front, by using whip stitch. So if you are already familiar with whip stitch, so easy you have to remember that one double crochet consists of three chains always remember that align the two skirts properly and once you are ready you can start sewing it
So keep repeating the same instruction up to here before the decreasing part of the dress. All right. I have completed my tulip dress and this is the result. It's so beautiful and unique. Also, the instructions are not that complicated. It's so simple for beginners. So let me show you the back part. So this is the result of our rib stitch. This one. Okay. And for the straps, as I have mentioned earlier, that you can make a button holes and add a buttons. But if you like, you can sew it just like this. All right. Hi guys! Thank you so much for watching my video. I made my video instruction a semi-slow motion that would make it easier for you to learn this technique. Again, I would suggest if you can keep on practicing whenever you have time. Don't take it too seriously, just enjoy the process of your learnings and I'm sure it will be a long journey for all of us. Please join me again on my next episode for I'll be featuring another beautiful dresses project series. I'm sure this time you're convinced to create your own crochet project. I would highly appreciate if you can leave a comment and any suggestions below. This is all for today and see you on my next vlog. Have a good day. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button below for more crochet updates. Bye!